costs are up, making it more expensive than ever to serve your family a healthy breakfast. Here with advice on how to save money on the most important meal of the day <laughs> is our financial contributor, Vera Gibbons. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. How many times have we heard that breakfast is the most, most important, important meal, meal of the day? day. And right. it's getting more expensive. It is. Especially things like cereal, they just keep going up and up and up. There's barely any grain in these things. And they're still up. I mean, food prices are off their peak, but we're still paying 45% more for our food than we did a couple of years ago. Prices wow. are expected to rise another 4, 5% on into 2010. Right. And if you look at breakfast commodities in particular, these commodities, the production of them tends to be concentrated in developing countries ah. that are prone to shortages. So demand okay, is like strong. Okay, like coffee and different kinds of coffee, things like tea, that. Coffee, tea, cocoa, right. orange juice mm -hmm. in those developing countries. So demand is strong and there are shortages, supply and demand. Wow. So there you go. As the, as the world's population grows, <laughs> people are eating more of the stuff. This is the expensive breakfast at mm -hmm. $2.50. Now, right. what makes it expensive right. is you've got the name brand cereal, which is about 4 to $6 a box. And of course, the boxes are getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> you've got the designer orange juice. There are production issues. In Florida, in Brazil, that's putting pressure on prices. Right, there's prices. less orange juice right. coming out this Fewer season. Fewer crops, right? right. Yeah. There's a crop issue. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the, the coffee, store-bought coffee. Coffee prices are up about 30%, again, product, because of production issues, primarily mm -hmm. in Colombia. Right. But store-bought, you're looking at a markup of 250%. You know, you can make that at home for 55 cents. All right. So, so just, you know, <clears throat> we keep the cover on. <laughs> yeah. All right. So for cereal, one way to save, obviously, yeah. is to just to go generic. It right. tastes almost the same. It's mm -hmm. about half the price. Right. You could go with a hot cereal, too. That's an easy way to save as well. Oats, grits. This is what I eat. Well, you're right smart. There, it's good for guy. you, and Minute it's less oats. expensive. About 11 cents a serving versus mm -hmm. 41 cents for the sugary right. designer cereals. Yeah. And you could buy in bulk. That's another way to save on the cereal. And you said this is a lot less expensive? The stuff Plastic comes... wrapping, believe uh -huh. it or not, is less expensive than the, the name brand ones that come in the fancy packaging. Uh -huh. All right, we well, pay yeah. for the marketing, okay. too. Can you save on this sort of stuff? Coffee, tea, cocoa. I mean, that's the kind of stuff you do want to make yourself. I mean, some of these specialty retailers do have web-only sales right. that are available. Tea, in particular, prices are up about 7 70 percent up by an all-time high because wow. of issues again it's production issues in Kenya in India in Sri Lanka so that's putting pressure on prices that's one area we really want to go generic who knew 70 percent up for tea prices not at the retail level but right. at the commodity level oh at yeah. the commodity level because okay. I know you went online last night I checked, checked the commodity, commodity prices. prices yes I did you're so dutiful okay eggs yes a dollar fifty a dozen mm -hmm. much higher in New York of course right <laughs> um, and if you go organic or something like that oh, pay, easily five six dollars serious dough for a well, dozen eggs on Saturday. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And you want to shop at a farmer's market, you can, in many cases, get eggs, a dozen eggs, for under a dollar a dozen. If you see that, why not buy in bulk? Easy way to save. Or you could go the powder route, which I'm sure you wouldn't, Harry, but that's an option. Right, right, right. And eggs actually stay... <coughs> four to five weeks. Yes. Four to six weeks. Eight. Yes, there you go. In your refrigerator. Okay. Orange juice, I mentioned the production issues mm -hmm. in Florida and Brazil. Right. You're looking at about $6 for a gallon of orange juice. If you're buying two gallons of orange juice a right. month, that's $144 a year. Slash your cost in half by going with the frozen concentrated or stuff. Really concentrate is really, really the key there. Okay. There you go. Help me save some money sugar. on the sugar. <laughs> well, with any single ingredients, sugar, salt, flour, mm -hmm. This is the kind of thing you do just want to buy generic. It's yeah. held the government standards, regulations in terms sure. of distribution, production, okay. salt to salt, sugar is sugar, and name brand designer sugar, very rarely part of an in-store promotion. So all the more reason to go generic. Okay. So, okay, so if I've done all of the stuff that you've said, how much money did I ta -da, save? Ta-da, ta-da. Yeah. <laughs> $1.17 for this breakfast, which right. is $1.33 less. less. So, so you so can you cut your breakfast cost in half. You're going to save about $500 a year if you incorporate all of our tips and you just make a few very simple changes. There it is, $500. Money in the bank. That's Vera right. Gibbons, as always, Thanks, thank you Harry. so much.